Well, when you're an assassin who can literally disappear, you, that helps with your stealth a bit. Not that hitman disappear. Mother's journal. <laughs> this this I remember this one is actually kind of genuinely sad. Eighth entry. It's the fourth day of the month of rain. Morris is sick, and so are the children. I've avoided it thus far, which is good fortune, since it has fallen on me to care for them. Ninth entry. The city watch comes and goes, knocking on doors and asking for signs of plague. Even our neighbors cannot be trusted. Earlier, it was difficult to keep the children quiet. Now they sleep most of the time. Tenth entry. The flies have set in. I try to keep them away, but I can barely get close. They sting so. Most of the time, Morris won't answer me when I try to talk to, to him from across the room. Eleventh entry. Morris is gone. I don't know what I'll do. For now, all my hope is reserved for the children. Leaving, leaving the flat for a while near dawn, I found some plague bags from a guard booth while no one was around. It took a while, but I got Morris into one of the bags. At least his face is covered. Twelfth entry. Young Robert has passed. The star of my sky is gone. Page missing. Seventeenth entry. Elise stopped breathing in the middle of the night. She was such a headstrong girl, I can hardly believe she was overcome. She was always near me as I cut up hagfish or vegetables, arguing with me about everything. Eighteenth entry. It is, the fourth of the, it is the fourth day of the month of wind. It is settled in that they are lost, they are lost to me, all of them. I cannot bring myself to call the dead counter. Nineteenth entry. I have the fever now. No guards come near anymore. Yeah, so that that is one of my favorite. I mean, it's 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 horrific, but that is one of my favorite journal entries in the game. In the like uh, journal things you find in the game, just because it, it it's it's nice to see sort of a uh, gives you a, a sense of you know the human cost of this plague. Mm. And there's a lot, there's there's little touches like that in this game that sort of you know humanize the people in it that I really like a lot. all of them there. Yeah. Looks like it. She talked about, you know, putting them in sh in like the ba in body bags. No smart-ass remarks about how funny it was to poison the poison the elixir, Corvo. <laughs> Want to look at some of the things I've found? Oh, and here's Griff. Griff is still alive and well. Unmute yourself. Okay, I need the art dealer's apartment key to get in through that door. This place has also been mysteriously replenished of stuff in my absence. Griff mistakenly believed he could trust him. <laughs> that poor <laughs> dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> they stole from here already. What are the odds they'll steal again? <laughs> oh, Griff. That was all the money I paid him for those blueprints the other night. I really like this. This is one of my favorite areas in the game, just because there's, there's so much vertical ex exploration you could do. Mm -hmm. Wait, oh. You, new drop drop point has changed. Leave it in the shitter under the bridge. If the elixir ain't there, you don't get paid. I, I love that noise you make when you eat something. Uh oh, there's someone in here. E evening? Yeah. No! That was a close. I cut that one close. He jumped right into it. Bone charm. Plague affinity. Getting damaged by Weeper gives a small amount of mana. That might. I've never used that because I. 
I prefer not to have plague infected sputum blasted in my face, but I don't really want to have any powers that revolve around letting that happen to me. But that's just me. Yep. Yeah, you can blink while you're in midair. That seems handy. It is. In some places, like, you know, if you're, uh, if you're in a dangerous fall, you can save yourself that way. I like how there's that eerie, like, windy wind sound whenever you take the heart out. Like you're in the void. <laughs> oh, this looks familiar. Yep. Now we're on the opposite side of the street. Ooh. Remember what I said about grenades? Yes. Down he goes. Oh, I, I hit the street lamp. It just stopped. Ooh, a twofer. Yeah, you can, you can let the grenade cook in your hand before you throw, and you pretty much need to. Otherwise, the, they they'll have time to, they'll have a fair bit of time to get away if you do. I think maybe that's what's helping you with the grenades, because I can't recall a whole lot of other games giving you a cook timer. There are some. There are some. Ooh, door to art dealer's apartment. See the yeah. So the door downstairs door was locked. I needed a key, but this way. Can't even saw the junk. It's not worth the time taking it off the wall. I might go upstairs, see if the mother two found something worth the trouble. What? Ah, uh oh. What now? Somebody, give me a hand. Oh, oh, he set himself on fire with his bag. Oh. Oh, I am engulfed in flames. Look at my health meter there. I came really close. So these are Bottle Street boys, or they are, and you just... I'm not sure. Sokolov's self-portrait. Interesting. Well, if that's a self-portrait, say what you will, but say what you else, whatever else you will. He's not a vain man. Rune. It's not far away. Some of the interiors in this are just really, they're really spooky, like the lights and... Yeah, this isn't a very well-lit place. No. But the game uses darkness very well. Mm -hmm. Lighting design is unappreciated. Yeah. Now, yeah, Tivian Burial Urn. Not much to steal here. Left to steal here. It's been kind of. It's a nice looking Burn. sink. Ooh, there's a safe that someone's been trying to crack. 
Art dealer safe combination needed. You can, he you can hear that noise from inside. There's mm -hmm. that's where the rune is. Yeah, you a fire. Try your hand at brute forcing it, huh? No. Yeah. Golden cat reopening. Everything has been cleaned up from top to bottom after that touch of the plague. <laughs> ah, it's a person. Yeah, it's a personal invitation to this guy from the madam. So. Maybe that's where he is. Oh, uh, yeah, we've seen this one. Old practice of bone charms. Mm. Defending men against pregnancy. A noble cause. Yes. Well, that looks like... Well, looks like everything on this floor. We're not going to be getting into that safe anytime soon. I'm not sure why this place is utterly trashed and Galvani's across the street is still basically okay. Oh! oh! Rats. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to, uh... Do you know, if you go upstairs, there's some fresh, uh... I... Corpses. I prepared a bag lunch for you. Need to go. Let's see what was in there. To hell with that teacup. Door to bottles. Remember that little door that we couldn't get into? Mm -hmm. That's where that goes. Another large ad for burial urns. Well, it's a, it's a growth industry <laughs> at the moment. Ironically. Yeah, okay, now see if you perch yourself just a few feet off the ground, you can hack away at a rat swarm and they can't get to you. Like rats in a open space. In a barrel. And like, once you kill enough members of the swarm, it'll disperse. If there's just one or two, they don't attack. Rats are a cowardly and superstitious lot. They only attack in groups. That's a pretty nice chandelier. Mm -hmm. okay, this is, this is, I just wanted to see if I could get on it. But you can't break it. Well, that looks like about everything we're going to find here, for the time being. Yep. Perhaps Mr. Bunting, if he's accepted an invitation, perhaps we'll, ru perhaps we'll run into him as we go about our business later. But now, the bus main business initially at hand, which is Dr. Galvani's office. See if he's restaffed since my. There was some. I was. I recall there was some uh, employee overturn over there the other night. Where? Hmm. Where? At Galvani's office. Uh -huh. So I still got some grenades. The game has some very satisfying animations for just bodies going tumbling on over end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're onto me, and I'm at a bit of a bad spot. And I mean, I could flee back inside, but then I'd have to sit and let it load again. Corvo is an impatient man. Ooh. 
Oh, well, only killed one of them, but knocked the other down. Uh, finished him. Oh, oh! This guy's kicking my ass. Yeah, you have to time the uh, the parry just right to knock the guy off balance. Otherwise, if you try to you know counterattack, he'll block yours as well. It is possible to break through a guy's defense by just hammering away with your sword, but it's not nearly as effective. And you're, and of course, you're at risk of getting hurt too. Well, might as well go, might as well just let ourselves in through the f second floor again like last time. Mm. Oh, they've got another wall of light up. 